Hey guys, this is Dion here with Your Guitar Academy and in this lesson we're going to take a look at the B section, or should I say the first half of the B section of this John Frusciante style piece. So we're taking a little break from the chunky riffing here and we're going to go to some of that slightly more intricate picking that we looked at in the previous unit. And we're going to combine it with some of those major caged chords that we looked at all the way back in unit one. So grab your guitar, let's have a go. Before we get started, don't forget to head over to the website to find all additional materials including tab, backing tracks and also the lesson write-ups. And also please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave us a comment and we'd love to hear how you're getting on. Okay, let me play through for you this first half of the B section. Sounds something like this. And again, actually without some gain so you can hear it a bit clearer. So this features a couple of the things that we've looked at previously in the course. So we've got some of that intricate picking from the previous unit, as well as a combination of some of those uh, caged chords, or in fact one caged chord shape that we looked at all the way back in unit one. So the part in itself, first let's talk about the chords and what they are and what they're doing. So we're just simply playing here an F and a G chord, okay, for one bar each. So one, two. However, we want to use our C major shaped caged uh, position. So we're going to play that from the 8th fret, the A string, for the F chord. And then all you have to do is simply move that upper tone to play the G. One thing that I forgot to mention as well is that we've got a cool, cool little embellishment in here as well. So as you can see, this is kind of the culmination of everything that we've learned so far in this course. So, Let's have a look at the picking pattern as well. So it sounds slowed down, something like this. Okay, so I'm starting on the A string and I'm going, it's quite specific again, the picking direction here. So I'm going down, down, up, down to start with. Down, down, up, down. Okay, and the reason for that last downstroke is because I then have to string skip. I have to jump over the G and get to the B string. Okay, so with an up stroke. So down, down, up, up, down. And remember, all the while you need to be swinging those 16th notes. So you don't want to play it straight like. It needs to be more like. which is quite a challenge in itself. So definitely spend a little bit of time with that. So, so far we've got, okay, after that, we upstroke, we up, sorry, should I say pick up on the G and then a down on the D. So, so, so far picking directions, down, down, up, down, up, up, down. And then we repeat that, that, those three notes again okay, with the same direction, up, up, down. So it would sound like this so far. Okay, let's play it really, really slow at 60 BPM. We can hear what it sounds like with the drums. Okay, one, two, three, out. Awesome. Okay, so hopefully that picking direction or that picking pattern should be feeling a little bit better for you now. So after that, we just do this little embellishment. So this is a bar 
over the fifth fret of D and G. We pick those two together, hammer onto the seventh fret of D, and then pull off again. And it's on that's kind of on the like four E and, four E and. So in combo with the rest, it would sound something like this. Okay, that's one full bar. So again, with those drums. D and four and. Okay, so that's our pattern. All we then have to do with that is move it up a tone for the next bar. So that would be for the G. Okay, it just repeats around. So let's try that again, just together. Just go around those two chords. So one, two, three, and four, and. Small. And there we go. So let me just play it now for you one more time, just at the full speed, and then you can have a little go, a little practice yourself. So remember, the full speed is 100. I'm going to kick on a bit of game for some fun. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So it's a really cool part that I really enjoy playing that. And once you settle into that picking pattern and you get used to it at a slow speed, it becomes much, much easier to build that speed up than if you were doing kind of strict alternate picking. So as always, just spend a little bit of time with that slow tempo, nice and steady, and just you know continue to build it up to around about 100. And once you get there, I'll see you in the next lesson for the final half of this B section. That's it for this lesson. If you want to go to the next lesson, you can click here. And if you want to go back to the beginning of the course, you can click here. And also please like and subscribe. And also leave us a comment, any questions, we love to hear how you're getting on.